Hey, English 104 students, it's Cody Miller, your instructor. I am here with uh, an announcement that will largely solve two issues or take care of two tasks. One is your weekly review uh, and the homework reminders, and then the other is the transition that we are making into the distance learning or online lear uh, learning because of the, uh, the virus and the college making the decision to shift to online courses until after spring break, okay? Uh, so the nice thing is for our class, it'll be fairly easy to make that transition because we do a lot of stuff online already. There's a lot of assignments online, you post everything online, uh, I shoot a lot of videos already. There's just a couple of resources that we don't utilize on a regular basis that we may begin utilizing until after spring break, okay? And so I'll walk you through those in here. And of course, I will continue to update you through videos like this uh, to make sure you understand what's going on and uh, how to get through some of the, uh, the areas that you're not sure of, okay? Um, so what will happen in terms of uh, switching to the online learning environment is uh, we'll no longer be expected to come to class. So essentially the attendance part uh, for, for this time up through uh, the end of spring break uh, will not be recorded. So attendance is obviously not required on those days. And then once we come back uh, after that, uh, hopefully we'll be back in class after spring break. Um, attendance will then start to be recorded um, then, all right? So just know that those days will be taken out and won't be counted against you in any way. Uh, however, what that means is that all of the stuff that you're turning in does need to be turned in online and Moodle will essentially be your best friend. So you need to make sure that you have access to Moodle and that you are checking it on a regular basis. You are also checking your email on a regular basis because that is largely how I will communicate with you. You'll get videos, you'll get uh, announcements. Uh, sometimes I may have to in individually email you and there are some other ways that we can communicate with each other, uh, which I'll talk about in this video just briefly. Okay, within section three of Moodle, because we are moving out of the annotated bib unit that's coming due for us next, uh, the final annotated bib is coming due for us next week. Uh, you will notice that there will be a section um, posted underneath unit three uh, labeled distance learning or online learning tools. Those will be where the primary tools are for you, instructions, things like that. Uh, but those will be throughout unit three as well. Uh, so I'll have them in two places, but largely you'll be able to locate them at the top of uh, unit three, okay? Uh, once I open unit three for you, so we're just not finished. And uh, largely we were starting unit three on Monday or Tuesday, respectively for your class. Um, couple things that I would recommend that you do uh, now that we are switching to the, uh, the online for, for right now is to uh, download Zoom. So I'd recommend that you Google Zoom, that's Z-O-O-M, and you download that either on your phone or you download that on your computer. That will allow us to actually video chat with one another. It'll allow me to share my screen with you and you to share your screen with me should we need to work through a paper or anything like that. So that'll be our best friend uh, when it comes to chatting with one another. There's also the availability of Google Hangouts. I have the capability to do that. Uh, you do as well through your email. Uh, and I'll shoot a small video to show you how to walk uh, or to walk us through each one of those. I don't want to bombard you with too much information right now. Um, and then so those will be the meeting uh, applications that we'll use. Uh, email and Moodle are the primary modes of information right now, okay? And then I will also send out videos as we move forward. Couple things to note moving into next week, largely because this last week uh, we spent conferencing in the library. Um, conference grades have been plugged in. Uh, we were taking attendance. Uh, we had the drafts come due. So essentially, I'll continue to grade on Moodle. You'll get your feedback through Moodle. And then uh, a change that is happening uh, for next week in, in light of the situation of obviously not coming to class on Monday or Tuesday, respectively, for your course um, and not coming back to class, uh, actually in the classroom environment until after spring break. Uh, we've got to make some changes to how you turn things in. So uh, we previously had that the annotated bib would be turned in, the final annotated bib would be turned in via hard copy as well as an electronic copy. You are no longer expected to turn in the annotated bib via a hard copy. All you need to do is make sure that you submit it on Moodle on time uh, and follow the directions there. I have extended that submission uh, on the due date. So it's the normal due date, but instead of having it come due at the beginning of your class time, it comes due at 11.59 p.m. 
okay? You should see that change on Moodle uh, underneath your assignment submission. There is also an assignment listed there, which is the checklist. Uh, you will not be required to fill out the checklist. Uh, that's a, a no-go at this point because largely it was going to be printed off and stapled to the back of your uh, hard copy. So no checklist will be required, okay? Another thing that I'm taking away from the course and uh, uh, is the writing center appointment. Just so that you're aware, the writing center is open uh, regular hours, so you can still attend the writing uh, center if you would like. And uh, I would recommend that you do. However, uh, I do not expect you to come to campus during that time or to make the trip over there uh, if you are uncomfortable doing so. So that requirement uh, that uh, I think it's 25 points in the homework area uh, will largely disappear. Uh, you no longer are required to do that. However, if you have done it, um, I will uh, essentially turn that assignment into extra credit if you've done it before now, okay? That way, uh, your time that you did uh, in the Writing Center uh, will no longer, will, will not seem like it was a waste, okay? So again, uh, it's open. You can go. The library is open. The services are open throughout campus. Uh, we just are not meeting in the classroom to eliminate large gatherings. Okay, so all of our stuff will shift to online. I will continue to keep you updated via videos, via announcements, um, and uh, just remember you need to make sure that you're checking your email on a regular basis and you are checking Moodle on a regular basis. We'll largely continue to follow the schedule that we have on Moodle, but everything will be submitted online. Okay, uh, I hope this is helpful, and of course, please feel free to email me if you have any questions, and I will try to address them as soon as I can. Um, thank you for your uh, patience in the transition of switching to the online, but please know it should be a pretty easy transition for us, largely because we use a lot of those tools already. Uh, I'm using them in class, and uh, I've been preparing for this just in case it happens, so it's going to be a lot of just uh, opening that stuff up to you uh, so that you have access to it, okay? Thank you very much, English 104 students. Uh, and I look forward to communicating with you online uh, and uh, also uh, via the video uh, chatting uh, if we need to. Okay, thanks everyone and stay brilliant.